So this has been an incredible meeting. It's been our biggest meeting yet. And what an amazing, fabulous venue. Uh, QE2 Centre have been really good to us. Um, and it's not come cheap. So please do donate to the buckets as you, um, if you can as you leave. We've heard from really brilliant speakers. And it turns out that when it comes to sport, sex matters. <laughs> and not just in sport. Sex matters for sporting statistics, but actually for all statistics, including the census. Sex matters in gym changing rooms and in all places where women are vulnerable, hospital wards, hostels, refuges and prisons and many more places. Sex matters for female representation on sporting podiums, but also for our political representation and our role models in STEM subjects and throughout public life. Sex matters for lesbians, who should be free to celebrate. <laughs> who should be free to celebrate their exclusively same-sex orientation without being smeared as bigots. So sex matters, and our manifesto that we've just published aims to join all of those dots. Women's Place UK received an email in the run-up to this meeting that we found very moving, and um, we asked if we could share it with you with the writer's permission. It's been edited a little to preserve anonymity, but I just wanted to, to give you um, this testimony. I'd like to share some thoughts with you so you understand how deeply I appreciate what you're doing. And also, just because I previously felt so abandoned by the feminism I'd encountered. I live on a boat. I never learnt to swim. Tried to as an adult so I don't drown when I fall off my boat, but I was unteachable by then. My younger sister can swim. This is because some 30 years ago, a group of mums hired out a sports centre so that the mothers and daughters, nieces, girls, could learn and go swimming safely without any bullshit from their blokes. I was and still am jealous for not learning how to swim then. I missed out on that because, as what would be now called a gender non-conforming girl in a conservative religious community here, with general non-conforming behavior, what my parents would call trouble, what I now realize is Asperger's. I was instead married off as a teenager. If I was born later and to different parents, I'd have long ago been packed off to the Tavistock Clinic. I'm grateful I wasn't because I'm happy to be me and a woman. There are so many parallels across time and dogmas. I'm not surprised I didn't want to become a woman then. I'm not surprised so many young girls don't want to become women now. Never ever did I think I would be grateful for what happened, that marriage as a teenager. But it's true, it seems a better fate than some of what I see happening now. I did escape the marriage and abandoned religion, but not religious women. I learned that the word for what I've instinctively always known was feminism. Now that liberal, happy, clappy feminism, supposedly I was told, that feminism wouldn't listen to me because my existence contradicts their dogma. I'm inconvenient. I make their intersectional hierarchical nonsense implode so they'd rather attack, just like they attack what you are doing. I understand that you are putting yourselves in danger and I am grateful. I am grateful because you are doing it for all women and I had lost hope that that was a thing. My sister now lives in a country that does not permit women to swim. She knows how to swim, but can't because she's a woman. I don't want that for my nieces. I wish I could teach them to swim when they visit, but I can't because I was a girl once and there was no space, safe space then. It isn't only about girls being able to compete in, say, swimming, but also sometimes just being able to learn. Thank you for fighting for all girls and women. Some of us who are usually quiet and who prefer to be invisible sometimes are also very grateful. So that was a 
something that arrives in the inbox. It's not that infrequent that we get really very moving emails in the Women's Place inbox. Um, so I'd like to thank that woman, I hope she's in the audience, who sent us this moving testimony which illustrates so perfectly all those ways that sex matters. We are not... Yeah. Yeah. We are nothing without our supporters, and we are grateful to you. You are part of a movement that will take on and win this fight for girls and women. And so I think the final applause should go to all of you. And really like